Ladies and gentlemen, we continue day two and the ladies competition here at the 2017 BDO World Trophy. We introduce to the stage, first of all, a former Northern Ireland Open and Torremolinos Open champion. She's the Lincolnshire ladies county captain. It's Paula Jacqueline. We now bring to the stage a former BDO World Trophy finalist, twice a Winmore World Masters champion. She's the current holder of 17 BDO World Ranking titles. The current world number one, the Dog Destroyer, Dieter Hedman. Well, what a walk-on. What a couple of walk-ons there. And um, I love Manchester. Well, I do. I live there. And uh, how nice it is to see that uh, tribute. Anyway, it's uh, now a case of Paula Jacqueline having to do the business on the hockey against the number one seed, Dieter Hedman. And 117 years, I'm not going to dwell on this, but between them, with... Uh, Paula Jacqueline, the senior of the two. Now, it isn't often that that's said when Dieter's on the stage, but they both look well for their age and both throwing good <laughs> darts. <laughs> yes, they do. They do indeed. Um, I know these, these girls very well. And uh, Dieter's um, number one at the moment. And uh, is playing brilliant darts. Well deserved. She's a great, great, great player. She's been in a rich vein of form, hasn't she, over recent months? She has. She has. Uh, it's over the last few years, actually. You know. But there um, have been occasions where, she, like in this, where she was the runner-up last year, and for mm. so so often I've seen her, and and she sort of got there to the final, and then not quite being able to see it off. But more recently, she's actually gone through and won events. And but that happens. Yes. You, know, you can't you can't win them all, as no. they say. And. Um, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, you know, Paula it's, it's, to throw it's first. just the way it goes. Game on. Paula. Well, Paula's. Um, having a good spell as well, so we'll see what happens. Yes, Paula from Gainsborough in Lincolnshire, and uh, 60. Someone who uh, well respected within the the game, the women's game especially, hasn't won um, perhaps a number of events that she she ought to have done with her uh, undoubted ability. Nevertheless, the Northern Ireland Open champion and Gibraltar Open champion of 2014. Good year that for her. Up against it here against uh, Dieter Hedman, who's in, as we've mentioned, 39. Great form. Starts with 135. Sends out an early warning. Forty-nine. So Paula needs to step in now. Light the fire, as they say. Snatch that one. Yes, that one. Got to keep them down the line. The fives and the ones don't contribute too many to your score, do they? At least if you hit the single twenty. That applies to Dieter, of course. Every bit as much. Or any other dart player for that matter. 
But if you can put 85. the treble 20 in, score a net respectable 85, despite the first dart, that's more like it. 85. <laughs> There's a wave from the crowd. <laughs> a lot of waves near here, by the nearby sea. Well, that, Just that's a point. Down, down the road. 96. All the fun of the fair and... There's Christy there. Yes. There's Christy, that is uh, Paula's daughter. Along with um, Sam, Tina and Jack. 100. Dita, you require 136. Members of the wider family, boyfriends and what have you. Yep. Forty-four. Well, that last start could have been so much different, but Dieter's made a decent start against the throw, and uh, ninety-two. Forty-five. Been a Dieter little wayward, Paula. She's got to somehow find a way of. That obviously slipped that dart that went south because she's wiping the perspiration from her fingers. 52, 52 will do for tops. Well, you require 131. It'd be a miracle if she takes this out the way that she's thrown so far. But it's well, on 71. There you go. 91. She leaves it tidy, though. Yeah. Detail, you require 40. Definitely. She bounce off the barrel underneath. She didn't need to. No, she didn't need to. She found room to the right. She's got an early break of throw. And the number one seed has got exactly the kind of start that she uh, wanted. When you've lost the bull, you know you've got to break to win the match. At 140. Some stage. And that's so a good. If first. you can get it done in the first leg, you've effectively won the ball yourself, haven't you? Yeah. If she... 41. Paul needs to step up now. But a great start from Dita there with a ton 40. And she's following on through. There you go. One Fantastic dart from Dieter Hedman. 140 followed by 180. Means 181 one left. 45. 181 one left. After six darts. Pull her back on 415. Way back, yeah. Six darts. She's only scored 86, hasn't she? And uh, that isn't good enough against Dieter in this kind of form. 60. 60. Dieter there's a prize for the highest checkout in the men's competition. I presume there's one in the women's, is there? I, Are you not aware you know of what? it? I'm not aware of that. No. Um, we had a 150 in the men's. We'll just see here what happens here. Oh, good effort. 76. But she didn't need to, but uh, if she fancied it, then why not? When you're throwing well, that's when you really do. If you're feeling confident and you, you think you're going to do it, then just go for it. Yeah. Dita, you require and then sometimes 45. you play safe. And, and then blow it. And then blow it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Doesn't Absolutely. guarantee yeah. you're going to so, win by playing 16. safe. Now another uh, one another. of exhibition stuff here, yeah. Trina. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Now that she didn't intend, folks, but it still looks good. Uh, might have intended it in an exhibition, but. Uh, That's the way it goes. If you hit that, you've, you've got no alternative. 
You right. just have to do it. 100. And of course, it's one of the reasons, the, the mathematical reason being one, why 32 and 8, the 32 and the 16 are so popular, because it's the breakdown. It's a perfect breakdown. Yeah. But it's also because they're right next to each other in, on the exactly, board. Exactly, yeah, and, uh, so you don't 85. have to distract yeah. from side to side. And there's a lot, there's a lot of people that um, don't understand, really. It's about mental training as well, whereas you need to... You've got that area around you. And 40. you need to... Your distances need to be trained, brain trained, if you see. Yes, but yes. So... Um, it's hard to explain, but, uh, yeah. Looking comfortable, Dieter Hedman. 140. She's turned 416 into 276. This was... Uh, this is Paula's best leg by far, so far. It may be an excellent reply from her. It may be that uh, she's settling down now into the game. That's better darts. Hey, is it just? Eighty-five. Paul is quite capable. You know, she's a good player. So, um, in her own right, I've had some storming games with her, and uh, she, she, you know, she's not to be underestimated at all. 85. But as she's proving here now, because uh, if she can win this leg, admittedly it's with her throw, it keeps her in touch with Dieter. If she loses it, it's hard to see her winning four on the drop. 59. Against well, such a formidable foe. The Dark Destroyer. Not quite destroying her opponent yet, but 40. if she takes out 132 here, it might do. That's what she wants. 19 scored, 113 one, one, left. 93 left, treble 19. Would 40. have left double 18, wouldn't it? Okay, so Paula on 96. Just stay there. 16. 56. Leave the tops. Dita, you require 84. Can Dita make it 3 0 with this attempt at 84? She'll go 14 for the bull. Bullseye again. She's had a go at it once. Oh, you one. don't get closer than that. Only the wire oh, separating her from a 3 0 lead. And now, tops for Paula. Needs to take a chance. And there she does. The Paula that was a great there marker, wasn't it? It, it was, was a great marker. And in fact, it bounced off it yeah, into it the target. The barrel. That was yeah. terrific play. Good leg that from Paula Jacqueline. And even though Dieter had a dart at the bull to win it and was so, so close. I think Paula deserved it. It was her best 16. leg by far, and it will give her a lot of hope. So Paula needs to step in now. She's against the darts, but she needs to punish that 60 from Dita. Can she? 60. Well, if she levels it, at least it's even Stevens. She doesn't want the leg to run away from her. I suppose you need two legs to run away, but you know what I mean. So that's a poor shot from Dita. She'll think it's a poor shot from her. So Paula needs to press Ooh, on that, that one. That's a bit wild. Yeah, I was looking for it to go 45. underneath that one into the treble 20 yeah, and it flew off. Again. That's right, it was as though it was lifted into the uh, uh, air by... Cape Canaveral, not by Paula Jacklin. 100. 
completely unfazed, isn't she, Dita? She just quietly gets on with the game. She does. A, she has a serious look on her face, but then it is business, it is work. That's the same 85. as me. That's yeah. And that's exactly how but I it's, it's, do it. It's your job, isn't yeah. it? Of course it is. Yeah, it's my job. One hundred and thirty-seven. Fabulous, fabulous darts. Oh, and Paula, starting to snatch a little bit. Yes. Now. Yes, having <laughs> having played that quite brilliant leg last time, a very good leg indeed. It's gone a rather awry for her. Maybe it's because Dita is now scoring so 16. well and playing so consistently well that it's putting her under a bit of pressure. Just need to go down the line, Paula. Down the line. 41. Yes, getting the discipline just, back in the yeah, game. Just don't push it. Just like that. Just like that. Double 18. Oh, 98. so close. So Paula back on 244 now. And she needs to really pressure this, which she's not doing at the moment. 45. Well, having played her best leg of the game, 18. this is probably the worst leg that she's played. Let's be fair. Let's be honest. And uh, Dita... Moves just inside that. Off the barrel. Just Ooh, inside. Good still. There. No Ooh. score. But Paula hasn't threatened, so Dita has the comfort of knowing that she can afford to miss, not that she wants to. But them three darts were so close, and she could have bounced 100. off the barrel. Yeah. But Dita, you require. Good ton from Paula, but she's still. On a three dart finish with 99. This, that's a similar dart to the first last time. This time she's moving to the right. Oh, there it is. The fourth leg. That's the where the, she was searching. That's the part the she barrel. was. Yeah. Use the barrel. She was searching for that, wasn't she, the previous visit? So she goes now 3 1 up and is within one leg of a place in the last eight, where she will meet Rachel Brooks, who played very well earlier to defeat Sharon Prince 4-2. 60. A steady darts from Paula. So Dita straight back in there. <laughs> Can she fill it up? And almost, almost. Real quality, real quality. Throwing as well as I can remember her. And she's, she's had her times over the year. Won a, an event back in 1994, the World, World Masters. 45. And then won it again 19 years later. Had I was a, there in 94. Had a break from the game, yeah, didn't she? She did, she did, yeah. And she's well back in there as well. You were there in 94. Did your parents take you for a day out? They that did. <laughs> 140. No, I was actually Brilliant. playing. I know. <laughs> I am rather old, love. Well, not as old as I am. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. 85. 3.11. So 90 in it. Even though Paula threw first. That's the... Extent of Dita's domination. Dominance, I suppose, is the correct word. I think both are correct, actually. Or either is correct. 60. Anyway. So that leaves an out shot for Dita. Paula back on 311. But can she punish this now? Can she make a difference? 100. That's a good ton. It's a good Gives ton. her a chance. Yes, she's got to stay in touch and... She's not a million miles behind, but Dita will almost certainly leave this on a, fin on a two dart finish. 
Treble 20 again. 82. Which effectively she has done. That is a two dart finish. Now Paula desperately needs a score. Could get one here. Could get one Good here. One girl. Great visit. Great visit. That's Keeps good. her in touch. 71 against 79. Still Dita favourite, but Paula has given herself an, a chance at least if Dita doesn't take out 79. Pressure's on. That's the nine. 20 for the bull. Treble 20, double five. Oh, Ooh. and the, the 71 that's inviting now for Paula Jacqueline after that excellent, excellent 29. visit Paula, to keep 71. her hopes alive. Double 16. Fabulous yeah, start. Great Absolutely start. fabulous start from Six somebody who was Rufus. down on her knees. So not under quite pressure. out. Not quite out, but she was down on her knees. And uh, I've got to say, that showed uh, 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 Trina uh, an enormous depth of character. Yes, indeed. 134. Indeed. Under pressure, and she, she didn't bottle. She, she, did, didn't she got the job done. Got to do it all again now, of course, as Dita kicks off with one, three, four. But um, that's a good return as well from Paula. Yeah, she. Let's just recap. She wanted two hundred and eleven. Dita was on a finish, seventy nine. She hit a hundred and forty, which gave her the chance if Dita were to miss. Dita did miss, and Paula took it out absolutely brilliantly. Took a chance. She did take her chance, and it was the only chance she was going to get if And, and that's what missed. it's all about, taking your chances. 33. Now then... Interesting. Dita. 41. Only 41, but she is 142 ahead. And uh, it's going to be a case of Paula having to repeat what she did in the last leg, you feel. Very, very focused in her own world cocooned away 41. in the depths of this game. And that's what you do when you're on stage as a player. You try and um, be so focused and just play the ball in front of you and tunnel vision. It's not always the best it, or uh, the easiest thing to do. But that's what we try to achieve. And that's what she did there. She, she got the Requisite ton. 28. Mm, one, it's very 20 similar 20 to the last game now because Dita's going to get a chance here. She may go the nice. She's looking down, so she is going the 19s route. She's quite happy to go for the ball as well. So I'm the ball's eye now. She, she will go 80. for it. She fancies it. It's like I say, if, you, if you, you're feeling confident and it's there... Why not? Paula's on 299, so she's got the chance there are to do that. two ways of looking at it. it. Her opponent's so far it's back, she can yeah. play safe. But then the other way of looking at it is she's so far back, I can afford to have a go at it. Mm. So ten, double 18. It's a bit wild. She's asking if that's in double one or not, because if it is, she'd want double 17, but it isn't. Clearly, 28. our view is better than hers from where she's standing. But um, it was double nine she wanted about three legs ago and uh, took her a while to get it, but she got it, didn't she, in the end with that? 30. Ricochet Dita in. That didn't pressure Dita at all, that score from Paula. So 
Double nine for the match. And for the match, it is an excellent performance from Dieter Hedman. Magic moments from Paula Jacqueline. But coming up next, we've got the number one seed, Glenn Durrant, against Brian Dawson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as she leaves the stage, a round of applause for Paula Jacqueline. So Dieter stays with us uh, through to the next round. Uh, how's your form coming into this, Dieter? Say that again. Feeling good? Form good as we come into this? <laughs> I just take it as it comes, really. I haven't actually thought about anything. I just wanted to get through the first game. Then everything else is a bonus. Just see how it goes. Yeah, we've seen some results. That's the sixth ladies game. We've seen three of the seeds go through. And three of the seeds go out. So, uh, Rianne Griffiths through, Rachel Brooks through, Anka Zilstra through. Surprised to some. Are you surprised to see the non-seeds winning? No, not at all. Because when you do the tour, you know the girls. Obviously, the public doesn't know most of the girls. But we actually know what they can do. And the, the difference is we're all up against each other first game. In tournaments, you sometimes have a chance to have a warm-up before you get to the big girls. But this one is anybody's game. So, you know, we could all go out first round as well as we could progress to the final. Yeah, very good point there. I introduced you uh, as the current holder of 17 world ranking titles. You've won, I, I try and keep count for you, uh, about 115. What's the motivation, Dieter, to keep traveling and to keep going the way you are? In a nutshell, I love the game. Absolutely love the game, and that's what keeps me going. Well, the game loves you back. Ladies and gentlemen, she's through to our quarterfinals. The world number one, Dieter Hedman. <laughs> 